find out what I would take if I was traveling during each season of the year. What bags would I take with me? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel AKB Bags and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And we have a special guest, Nova. She is getting older and she likes to be in the room with me because she really responds to my voice. <laughs> Long story short, I used to work uh, at, a, at a job and Every time I would call my husband and I was on speakerphone, she would start looking for me. <laughs> so, she's very smart and she's my, my good old blue Doberman back there. But anyway, <laughs> the topic for today, I was requested to do this video and she wanted to know what I would take bag-wise for traveling. And so I took that and made it a step further because people travel in winter, spring, summer, fall. And I wanted to show a small piece and a bigger piece f options of what I would take on a vacation during those times of year. So the first one we're gonna start with spring. And for spring is getting a little bit warmer but yet cooler really nice temperatures at least where i live in the in the lower midwest area it's usually cool for about two months and it gets hot <laughs> for spring category i would choose this bag i know that it's blue and it's denim and you probably don't think of it as spring but i do this is actually a year-round bag for me denim to me all year round <laughs> but I would choose this because of the options it has the capacity it has the crossbody strap if you want the short shoulder if you want or a totally different chain that you want to detach and you can make this bag look different and this is what I would grab for if I was going on a trip in the springtime I would take it and for a bigger bag in the spring, I also would carry this cute little light pink Longchamp and it's the green line. The pink with that green tabs is super cute and this has silver hardware. This is a really great bag for spring in case it's raining and you want something lightweight and you want to carry a little bit more because this small bag actually holds quite a bit. Now it doesn't have the shoulder or crossbody strap but since you can fold up this type of bag this is what I would carry for spring if I was going somewhere. I just think this light pink is so pretty and it has the pink horse on there Again, silver hardware. You've all seen these Longchamp bags. If you haven't got a Longchamp in any of the sizes, you need to try them. But yeah, I would take this for my other spring bag because it could fold up easily. The next season, obviously, is summer, which we are in and it is very hot. So thinking about on a trip, if you go somewhere and it's 80, 90, 100, you're going to be swimming a lot, most likely, <laughs> and you're going to be sweating a lot. So you don't want something heavy, you don't want something too fussy because you're already hot. <laughs> so for me, if I was going somewhere and I need a big bag, it would be this City Toe in the Pink Lemonade. This color is so pretty and you could take this to the pool. It is huge. It's the same size as a Neverfull MM. The handle drop, the double handles, comfortable. Nice big bag for the pool or if you just wanted it on your shoulder. It's a great bag. 
I would also pair it up with my little Nolita 19 in the same color because it would be easy just to grab this and go to the restaurant or if you're going to go shopping you want something a little smaller and or a date night on the beach <laughs> this is durable canvas material coated cotton material perfect for a little date night small bag in the summer I also would use this in the summer if I was going on a little vacation also because the cherries are so gorgeous on this barrel bag. I wasn't sure about these coach barrel bags, uh, how I would use it or what I would use it for. But honestly, if I wanted to just throw in my phone, which it does fit the big phones, I wanted to throw in a lipstick, a credit card holder, you know, something like that. This would also be a great option and you can detach this and make it a wristlet, which I don't really like the idea of a barrel wristlet. I think that's weird, but but what I was going to say is you can attach another strap to it to make it a crossbody if you like. So this one, I would grab one of these barrel bags if you're thinking about something smaller. They've come up with different patterns, but... I had to get these realistic looking cherries. They're so pretty. So this is another option for, I think, summertime. Now we're on to fall. And for fall, I'm going to start out with the fall with a small bag. And this little Nolita 19 is in pebbled leather with beautiful flowers and bows. And like a maroon plum ox blood I need to I haven't carried it in a bit so I need to dust it off a little bit but this is the same thing where you can detach this and add another strap so if you don't want to use it as a little bag with just this little strap there are always strap options that you can add to make it shoulder to make it crossbody so this would be a fall night date night or going to a festival or going, I don't know, apple picking. <laughs> I, I don't know if I would take that to apples. But anyway, this is the little bag I would take in the fall time. For the bigger bags that I would take would be, I think this Coach Emery and the color, I can't remember the color. I'll pop it up here because I can't remember the color and this I've worn so many times. I sold my little messenger Florentine bag from Dooney because of the size but this is a bigger size. They also came out with a smaller one but this right here has the front pocket, the back zip, and I can choose different straps. I bought extra straps for my Coach Emery and this color is a very very pretty taupe pebbled leather it even came with this hang tag i might take this off if i was going traveling i might just put that in the zipper pocket while i'm traveling but yeah the coach emery and this is again like the bigger size this is not the small size i would take this one in the fall it would be comfortable with those adjustable straps, nylon guitar straps. It's beautiful with this. Another one I would consider would be, of course, my Dooney and Burke shoulder carrier bag. And it screams fall to me. And it also has a back pocket, crossbody strap, top handle. These vintage Dooney's are if you can find them they are worth it this is some very durable soft leather and i love the turn lock so yeah i would definitely consider taking this one on a trip as well because of the strap because of the color and everything it would be perfect for fall traveling let's start with winter with a big coach dempsey carry-all i am really really happy with this purchase <laughs> way back when it's probably four or five years ago I'm not even sure now 
and the shiny pebbled leather with the muted coach right there, gold hardware. Can't say enough about this bag. It holds a lot of stuff and it comes with this strap which can be shoulder which I choose it to be shoulder bag. It has a magnetic closure. Now if you don't travel somewhere where you're a little scared to carry a bigger bag that doesn't have a zipper I would choose this one. Um, the magnet is strong so this is stuffed and it is a strong magnet so it would kind of take a lot to to grab this bag but this is so pretty I would take this in a heartbeat on a plane I would take it it's the pebbled leather two handles here the strap the size you can fit your snacks on the plane perfect for traveling in the winter time the coach Dempsey carry-all and if I was going out at night I am a pretty casual t-shirt jeans sweater sweatshirt type of person even when I travel I'm wearing comfy stuff if I was going somewhere cold <laughs> for winter I would of course grab my Lululemon one liter in this I think this is faux shearling doesn't that scream winter <laughs> And uh, yeah, it has gold hardware. It looks so pretty with this. And it also has the back zipper. This is the one liter Lululemon belt bag. And it's not my favorite belt bag, but it would be perfect on a trip. Uh, and it's black. So I tend to use a lot of black bags in winter. I don't know if I'm alone on that. I try to mix in some color too, but I tend to go for black bags in the winter. And we don't have a super long winter, but it's long enough and I think I gravitate towards darker colors or black. Look how sweet Nova is back in that corner. <laughs> so those are what I would choose big and small for each season. If I were traveling, those were be would be easy to carry. Uh, you have options, you have versatility. You have size and those would be what I would travel with and I wouldn't carry any Louis Vuittons or Florentine leather in there I wouldn't uh, put the materials that are a little more scratch you know easily scratched bags I wouldn't carry any of those and probably not the higher dollar bags I just I don't feel that that's a smart decision carrying expensive bags traveling that's just my opinion <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for the request and I hope that helps I I want a big bag and a small bag if I'm traveling and I want cross bodies I want totes I want the versatility that those give me and easily packed away so that is why I picked those so thank you for watching and if you don't mind hit the like button if you like this kind of video and subscribe to my channel I am trying to reach 2,000 subscribers so it's free I appreciate all of you who have subscribed to me recently I thank you so much and thank you for all the new people commenting on my videos I noticed that I have new ones so thank you for stopping by and taking your time out of your day to watch me and I appreciate all of you and until next time I'll talk to you soon bye